All right, y'all. Today I want to go over the five things that we did learn in Chapter 16 of Boruto TBV. One of the first thing, obviously, is going to be Himawari cannot leave the Leaf Village. This right here is basically told to us by Kashin Koji when he was having a discussion to Shikamaru, and he pretty much said openly that Jura is after Himawari, and also if she actually does leave, that he will actually target her. Now, this right here is kind of interesting, man, for a couple of reasons. Kashin Koji knows the future, so this right here isn't just any regular person saying this. This is someone who pretty much knows all the possibilities and someone who likely knows exactly what's going to happen if him and Wadi actually does leave and this right here is going to be kind of interesting Malum, because currently right now Boruto being outside of the hidden leaf village that's going to be something that we should keep tabs on because we understand that him and Wadi wants to help Boruto one of the things that him and Wadi did actually say when she was actually becoming a ninja was that she wanted to become stronger so she can actually help Boruto so Boruto not being in the village and of course him and Wadi like being in the village and now Kashin Koji basically saying that she must stay in the village I think that could be a storyline that we could you know look forward to in the future I think likely Himawati is probably going to leave the village without any orders I think it's going to be like a big surprise nine times in ten and that's probably going to put a lot of people in danger that's just my actual opinion but let me what you guys think about that storyline right there in the comment section down below the next thing that we did learn in chapter 16 of Boruto is going to be the team that we are sending to the hidden sand village and again this right here comes from Kashin Koji again he knows the future he knows all the great possibilities so I'm guessing this is going to be one of the best teams that he could have possibly has chosen so of course it's going to be Boruto well again I'm assuming Boruto but the actual team that he did say it's going to be Sarada, Mitsuki, Konohamaru and of course the two people from the sand Yoro and Araya. Kashi Koji didn't really say Yoro and Araya he really just said the people from the sand village but that's going to be the team. I actually did like the team I said this I talked about this in my review those are three people that are semi-loyal to Boruto I say semi because Konohamaru is not all the way there yet I think once he pretty much sees Matsuri there and Matsuri start attacking him. I think he's probably going to start to trust a lot of what Boruto is actually saying because Boruto did warn him about Matsuri during the interrogation. Not only that, we already know that Sarda is pretty much invulnerable to omnipotence and we understand that Mitsuki basically sees Boruto as his son. So again, two people that are pretty much really, really loyal to Boruto and a third that I believe that is going to eventually become loyal to Boruto and two characters from the Hidden Sand Village. I'm super interested to see exactly how they did grow past the time skip. They have some interesting abilities. Arai has the puppets, Yoro has the sound stuff. So of course, we don't necessarily know exactly how they can actually grow too, too much because we don't really have any people in TV that we know of that's adept in sound and of course adept in puppetry. So that kind of leaves the door open for a lot of creativity with these two characters that I'm super excited for. Now another thing that we did learn in chapter 16 for the TBV, Shinki is already in the sand. There was a question about what this next chapter was actually going to be about. It could have been about Kawaki potentially taking his limiters off. I kind of thought that's what it was going to be and of course they were going to have one chapter to kind of set up this next sand mission. Turns out they dive directly into the sand mission and Shinki plus Monty are already in the land of wind. I thought this right here was super super cool for the actual pacing of Boruto. Of course one of the things that we understand with Boruto is that it is a monthly manga so getting directly into the action is something that we all like to see and them actually doing it this quickly I really really liked it and of course it just opens the door to potentially other possibilities like after this potential battle of Ryu plus Matsuri versus the rest of the team what's going to be the next battle now we have to, now we could actually think maybe in chapter 18 there could be more Shinju that arrive maybe Jura comes back maybe Boruto pulls up maybe Kawaki pulls up so the, with them having a lot of this stuff happening so quickly again it just opens the door for just more action to be involved into the series of Boruto and I'm pretty sure again because the monthly manga a lot of people would just absolutely love something like that so hopefully we do actually get to see a clash in the next chapter so we could potentially even get to see another fight in chapter 18 which would be absolutely insane now another thing that was kind of told to us in chapter 16 was the fact that boruto actually did use time space in jutsu prior now he said multiple times and again this right here is something that we kind of understood but this being kashin koji someone who kind of has like a better understanding of let's say boruto lore him actually confirming it, I thought it was super cool. We understand that Boruto did actually utilize it with his Karma Seal twice. He opened the portal with Kawaki, and that right there was like a dual like portal opening, and also opened one with Ishiki Otsuki, where he pretty much teleported him outside of the Hidden Leaf Village to essentially save the Leaf Village. He came back and actually become a, became a celebrity and hero because of that. But regardless, there was a time before that where he utilized Time Space and Jutsu again with his Jogen as well. Now again, this right here isn't necessarily confirmed, which is why I thought that this right here was kind of significant they didn't go in depth but we believe that the jogan opened up a portal back in the first arc in the anime if you guys do recall that was a sumane arc 
kind of funny enough, Sune did actually crash out in this chapter as well. But during that arc, Boruto himself kind of opened up portals with the new way, I guess. And of course, one of the times where electricity came from his eyes, there was another time where he essentially just punched like a wall and then a portal opened up. So stuff like that happened. And I thought that this right here, Kaji Koji essentially saying that Boruto utilized time space in Jutsu before prior. I thought it was kind of cool. One of the interesting things that Kaji Koji did actually mention is that he wasn't necessarily able to replicate the things that he did actually do or when he did actually do the time space in Jutsu. And that kind of got me thinking, of course, the Jogan was one of those things that he really couldn't necessarily replicate. Of course, the, the Karma Seal was kind of like that as well. The Karma Seal, more of a lesser than because he was actually able to utilize the Karma Seal. But of course, he never really got the correct grasp of time space in Jutsu utilizing the Karma Seal. So I'm guessing it could be that. But the Jogan thing, I could think that this right here just matches that description damn near perfectly to the T. It's something that he utilized before, or we think he utilized before, that he couldn't necessarily replicate. And of course, this right here would be something that would be like just amazing <laughs> for like the introduction of like a board. So maybe one time he can't really use time space and jutsu and he can't utilize the karma seal portal, then he has to utilize the car, then he has to use the Jogan portal. Hopefully they do actually dive deeper into how he did utilize time space and jutsu because if he does confirm that it was a Jogan, I mean, maybe it could be like one of the first times that we hear about the Jogan actually in the Boruto manga. But regardless, I thought that this right here was definitely a cool little saying and a cool little idea that we did get from our guy Kashin Koji. Now, the last thing that I did have to say is that Ida seems to be trustworthy to not only Kajin Koji, but also Shikamaru as well. One of the things that we did see about Kajin Koji in this particular chapter was that, of course, the communication between Kajin Koji and Shikamaru, they talked a lot about the plot. And not only that, Ada was essentially there. Kajin Koji knew Ada was there. Kajin Koji is actually on Ada's hair. Kajin Koji knows of all the possibilities. So he essentially calculated the fact that Ada would understand or would know and most of the possibilities it wouldn't necessarily be a problem now of course i do have to point out this doesn't necessarily confirm anything but this is just an idea it gives us the gist of maybe you know ada isn't fully you know evil <laughs> anymore or maybe she was never really evil and not only that shikamaru essentially had and you know didn't necessarily fully trust ada but ada essentially called him out and told him that she knew that he's the person that did actually free boruto with the assistance of mitsuki but Ada wouldn't actually tell anybody that Shikamaru is the person who actually did free Boruto. So again, Ada is getting a lot of trust in this particular chapter through not only Shikamaru, but of course the audience as well, because Kashin Koji felt free to divulge a lot of the stuff just right in front of Ada. So I think that this right here is going to be a very, very cool little thing that we could keep an eye on. Maybe Ada becomes a lot more heavy into the actual plot. We understand that she is being hunted by one of the Shinju, so she does have a lot of incentives to actually help out and assist in this mission against the Shinji right here. So hopefully, you know, we get to see a lot more stuff with her. But let me know what you guys think about this in, in the comment section down below. And of course, give me some of the things that you did learn in chapter 16 of Boruto. I thought this right here was a super good chapter, included a lot of plot, and of course, a very good setup for the upcoming sand mission. But let me know what you guys think. It's me, your boy, Barbie, and we out. It's a knife.